you can hear the applause. On Splash Mountain. So we have visual confirmation of the Crew-1 resilience capsule. From resilience, that is excellent news. We are splashed down. Welcome back to Planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. The words from SpaceX Mission Control. And with that, the SpaceX crew and astronauts made it safely back to Planet Earth after a six month stay on board the International Space Station. Splashdown happened just before 3 a.m. this morning. Resilience left the ISS just six and a half hours earlier at 8.35 last night. The astronauts were aboard the International Space Station since November conducting experiments and spacewalks. Commander Michael Hopkins Pilot Victor Glover, Mission Specialist Shannon Walker, and Sochi Noguchi from Japan have set the record for the most days in space by a U.S. spacecraft, 168, beating the 84 days set by the Skylab 4 crew back in 1974. After a return home from the space station, the astronauts and their capsule will part ways. Fox 35's Matt Treza joins us from the Space Coast with what happens next for Team Resilience and their crew, Dragon Capsule. Matt, good morning. Good morning, Andre. Now that the astronauts are safely back on Earth, the officials want to make sure that everyone stays healthy while they're readjusting to life on, uh, in gravity. The crew spent 168 days in space. That's what space researchers call a long duration mission. Now that they're back, the teams from NASA and the Japanese space agency JAXA are taking care of them. They're also taking stock of the landing and looking ahead to future missions in space where NASA is continuing to partner with private companies to get astronauts to the ISS and beyond. On the NASA side, we're going to take this learning into, you know, our future crew missions um, with Boeing and most importantly, the Artemis missions. And I know the SpaceX folks are just going to keep doing these missions. I don't know how you could have done this one much better. Now, while in orbit, the Crew-1 team conducted a bunch of important experiments, uh, including growing vegetables in space, using microbes to mine minerals, uh, looking at how spaceflight affects the brain, and uh, simulating the effects of medicines on the human body in space. We're live in Cape Canaveral. Matt Treza, Fox 35 News. Matt, thank you. Commander Mike Hopkins was the first out of the capsule, waving his arms and moving his feet. He was stretching his space legs, so to speak, and doing a few dance moves you see right there as his feet hit the ground back here on planet Earth. The Crew-3 mission is already on deck for no earlier than October 23rd. Four astronauts will head to the ISS for another six-month stay. The crew will include two Americans, Raja Shari and Thomas Marshburn, along with German ESA astronaut Matthias Moray, a fourth mission specialist, has yet to be named. Crew 2 will return to Earth about a week after Crew 3's arrival, no earlier than October 31st. And we won't have to wait long for the next SpaceX launch on the Space Coast. Falcon 9 is scheduled to take more Starlink satellites into orbit Tuesday afternoon. Launch is scheduled for 3.01 p.m. Now to some breaking